Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Manga Etc. And I'm here today to bring a review for Tamaki Sinna Manga Chapter 10. So the director, he basically lied. He's like, yo, like, you know, like the first attempt was possible. Because I thought, I'm not going to lie. As I was reading the chapter and we basically see Hajime just basically kind of asking this question over and over again. And I thought it was going to be a thing where we're not going to get the answer to it. And I'm like, don't, don't do me like that. But it didn't be the, happen to be the case. We actually do get an answer. And the director is basically like, he's like his, she, he says that her first attempt was possible. It was good. But the reason why he said it wasn't is because like he wanted to draw out her full potential. He sees potential in her basically. He sees that she has much more in her. He's basically, basically sees her as a seed, just needed to bloom, all that good stuff, because she's young, she's got a story to prove, blah, 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 all the rest of it. And that's why he said it, to draw her out, to bring her to next levels, to bring her to new heights. And uh, we see that out for the Vinny chapter, he, she does do a better take. And I feel like that this is kind of the relationship that down the line that her and Kurai and Hajime will develop this kind of relationship as well. Uh, it's a thing where maybe from each other, really, uh, they can do it for each other, really, because we do get um, hints towards that. Uh, the whole thing on the beach where um, she um, she inspired him to whip out his phone, and then because the phone was whipped out, it inspired her to act better, kind of thing. So I think we could get it from either, either but. Um, yeah, for now, that's why we find out why they, um, they actually did it. I'm not against it. It's a good play. <laughs> it's a good play. It's a good play. So I'm not against it. So in the chapter as well, we have Hajibi just basically having, just wrapping up his day there. He's seen all different kind of things. He's inspired. I was the whole point of him coming here. He's inspired. He's got new ideas for the show. He pretty much says this at the end of the chapter. Rearing to go with career rearing to go. Uh, he whips out the script. And by the end of the chapter, oh, the director gets his hands on the script. And now, what does this mean going forward? At least, at the very least, we might personally get to finally see someone else's opinion on the short. And now I know, I know we've seen quite a few people's opinion on the short, but if we deep it, They've all been kids. <laughs> They've all been all been students. Yes, I know one is from a professional actor, but for the majority, they've all been kids. So seeing the opinion, if he does read it, because he might not read it, he might just like, mm, you wrote this, hand it back kind of thing. But if he does read it, we finally get to see someone who at least is a pro within the industry of films see their opinion on the script and that might change things because up until now we are under the plea that Temaku is this big time screenwriter who's worked with this big time uh big time um director in the past but the opinion of someone who a pro who's seen as a pro in the industry could change things because if it doesn't move him the same way it's been moving like the students or everyone we've seen up here to now it may put some doubt in our minds to if Tamaku really did work with this director or he just might maybe he did but he's just not as great as he was initially thinking so I'm really looking forward to the opinion of this director's um, opinion on the short so I hope he does read it but it is very possible that he does hand it back and not read it at all um that's one thing but also knowing that this script does exist the sure can it affect things going forward because obviously you know Kura has to keep things under wraps because she's a professional actor she's got to go through the agency any scripts approved have to go through the agency that was even mentioned within this chapter about this whole movie that she's working on now so could that possibly mess things up yes but will it no, <laughs> I don't think that's a possibility, but it is something that you do need to consider going forward. Uh, so yeah, I think that's everything I've got to say about this chapter. It does leave off on a very nice cliffhanger. So for those reasons, I'm going to give it a four star rating. And like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.